friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I am not feeling the best. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, welcome back. Oh, Lux is about to knock my laptop over, so I might have to do another take of this. Anyhow, um, if, um, some people might not know, but I broke my spine 10 years ago. Um, for the most part, I have defied all odds and, and proven doctors wrong time and time and time again. They told me that I'd never be able to ride a bike. Um, I ride a bike and I rollerblade. They told me that I would never be able to exercise outside of my physiotherapist's office and doing exercises from a seated position. Um, not only do I exercise, I went just specifically to prove them wrong. I, I received my certification to become a personal trainer, and, and I actually did that for four years. I was a personal trainer um, after I broke my spine. So, um, oh, and I guess the biggest one would be they told me that I wouldn't be able to carry any more children, and I did that as well. Um, that's why there's a substantial age gap between my middle daughter and my youngest. Um, of course, I could still get pregnant, but they told me that um, carrying a baby to full term would be sheer hell and torture, as well as labor and delivery would be hard. Um, they had a, a plan because where I crushed my spine and where I broke my spine is actually at the exact spot where they would put an epidural. So I had a meeting with um, the head of anesthesiology. Um, they told me it would be impossible for me to withstand the pain of a natural labor and delivery like I did with my first two. Um, and that was hard to swallow. So I went for a meeting with uh, the chief of the anesthesiology department at London's Victoria Hospital months in advance. Um, and they decided to do the epidural, but three vertebrae higher um, and then sure enough I, I had her naturally anyway so anyhow I have defied all odds and I've had an amazing life for the last 10 years um, of course like I live with chronic pain every day but I have instead of concentrating on the pain I have instead pushed myself to create the best quality of life and find ways around things. Um, I'm not sure what I've done this time, but it's been a little over 72 hours and I feel like I'm back to square one again. My specialists are readjusting my medications and um, I have some extra help for a couple days until I get back on track, but I might be bringing you couple videos from my bed because I can't even put my own socks on at the moment. <laughs> um, you know, I'm kind of poopy. Anywho, um, this is going to be another Vlogmas entry. I'm going to show you what I am putting in Gracie Poo stocking. I have left this to the absolute last minute and will upload it at the absolute last minute because from time to time she watches my videos. So I didn't want to upload this too early and her have a sneaky peek. At what she was getting. I know by the time I upload this she will be too consumed with Christmas excitement to be watching mom's YouTube videos. So the first thing was one of these Nom Noms candy cane. She used to have these things like she grew out of toys about the same time these came out so she had a couple of them but then she was like eh, too big for that but I thought she might like this candy cane. I found this at the dollar store. Another one of her favorites are peeps and I found these in candy cane flavor which I think she will go crazy over typically we don't whoo sorry typically we don't do a lot of candy but Christmas time is a time that I do let the children indulge um, the next one was this cute little um, sleep mask. Actually, I got one of these for Tatum too, a pink one, after I filmed Tatum's stocking video, so I'm going to crush that in the top. 
but these are nice. I just got this from the dollar store, and you can actually change the little sayings on them. They're Velcro, so one says, I wake for food, which is perfect for Gracie. She's a total foodie, and the other one is, do not disturb. Um, of course, these little makeup wipes or nail polish remover thingamajigs. We cannot get enough of these here at the dollhouse. We go through them like crazy. Some double bubble Santa's gumball workshop. Gracie is 13, so she's like, I don't know, she's the perfect age. I think she's still super easy because she's a giant kid at heart, but at the same time she wants to be a teenager too. I don't know. I just I wish they weren't in such a hurry to grow up. I'm like, dude, you, you have no idea. Being an adult's not fun. I'll trade you places any day. Um, the next one are these really cool, um, fantastic elastics. I know tons of different companies make them now. I swear by these. Um, these are from Garage, and the three-pack is $5. They are a tad bit on the expensive side. But they last a lot longer, I'm finding, than your typical hair elastic. The kids and I have horse hair, like super, super, super thick hair. I don't always go to get a haircut, but I always go to get my hair thinned out. Um, so we stretch out and break our elastics all the time. These ones don't stretch out, don't break. So they're nice. They're a little bit more money up front, but they last a lot longer. Um, oh, Tatum Space Mask. Same thing, but pink. Um, the next thing that I got, Gracie, was this makeup kit from Five Below. Grace doesn't wear makeup outside of the house yet, plus she has ultra-sensitive skin. So she's still a little too young to wear makeup. Um, well, once she hits that age, I will definitely be looking for all natural alternatives. She just kind of uses it as play makeup. Um, we won't be getting into makeup makeup until she's 16. So I purchased this as well. I think this contouring palette thingy was $5 at Five Below. And then this hard candy blush, whatever. Uh, highlight duo, bronzer and highlight, and blush duo thingy. It was $5 at Walmart, too. For play makeup, it's all right. The next one was Lipsol. I found this one at the Buck store. And this one's called Yummy Sticks in Sea Salt and Caramel. I was like, yeah. This one's also vegan and paraben-free, so I loved that. It's a good find to find at the Buck store. Because I think sometimes if you were to purchase this at like Shoppers Drug Mart, they'd be almost five bucks for a lip balm. That's crazy. Especially because my older girls lose them. And God forbid if Ella finds them, she eats them. So just not good. <clears throat> the next one I purchased was for Gracie. This was for $2 at Giant Tiger. Just this hot mess water bottle. Um... This one doesn't have a sticker on it, but I'm pretty sure that Tatum's was made by the same company and it says it was BPA-free, but when they're that cheap, sometimes you never know. Also, I highly doubt that this is dishwasher friendly because of all the rhinestones, but it's cute. Um, my kids lose water bottles. Like, oh, I swear, we start the school year every year and I purchase two or three for each kid and... Pfft, by December this time, they'll have no water bottles because they misplaced them. Oh my goodness, the cat is stuck to my comforter. Lux, come here. Oh man, this is the thing about having a spinal injury because you can't move worth a damn when people need you. Hang on. And of course, he gets himself unstuck. Oh, anyhow, carry on, carry on. Um, the next thing, of course, was some Scentsy from Miss Gracie's room. She is my, like, sweet and sugary. Oh, this one's so good. Orange Dreamsicle from Bring Back My Bar. I love this. If you like orange creamsicle popsicles, that's what it is in a clamshell. 
It is delicious. It's also a top performer. <laughs> On cold, you wouldn't think so, but I have warmed it in like the open concept room, like in our general living area out there, and it throws like crazy. It's really good. Okay, cat, you are seriously grinding my gears over there. The next thing was this um, choker. It's got this like long dangling piece in the center. I know it doesn't look very special on this, but it's really pretty. I think it'll be gorgeous once it's on. Um, it's from bobblebar.com, hashtag bobblebar. I've never heard of this company, but the original retail price on it is $46 for a choker. Then they had it marked down to $27.60. I found this at a liquidation sale for two bucks. <laughs> like, yes, it's gorgeous, but I didn't pay $46 for that. It's a bloody string. Um, the next one is a gift card from Pink. I put 50 bucks on here because my kids love Boxing Day sale shopping, so she will definitely go crazy for that. Also, I find a lot of pink stuff is a little overpriced sometimes. Um, you know, they'll want almost $80 for a sweater, but then on Boxing Day, you can get it for 10 bucks. I'd rather give the kids a handful of cash. And they can get twice as much on Boxing Day versus me getting them one or two things for Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Um, before, I used to do it. But now that they're older and they like to pick their own stuff anyways, gift cards are always winner, winner, chicken dinner. In Tatum's stocking stuffer, you'll see that I purchased her three cell phone cases. And Claire's has their buy three, get three free of anything in the store. So I got this clear rainbow holographic poop. Grace loves the poop emoticon. She even has a poop pillow. So I know she'll like that one. She's because she's still younger. She's so easy to please. Love that. It's not until they get like, you know, 15, 16, 17 that I'm like, oh, I don't know what to get because they're so picky. Um, I know Gracie will love this one too. My camera's not going to pick it up, but it's got a beautiful mandala pattern on it. It's gorgeous with rhinestones and kind of like a rose gold color. She's going to go crazy for that one. And last but not least, my girl loves unicorns. And if she doesn't use this, I will. Look how cute that is. And then the unicorn peeks over on the other side. How cute is that? I am 35 years old. If she doesn't think that this is adorable and put it on her phone, I will be using this. Look at that unicorn bum. That's about the cutest thing I ever did see. Aside from Ella. Um, the next one was... Um, where was it? I think it was Bootlegger. They always have fantastic sales. Always. They have crazy sales, and I think Kismet is their brand name, I guess. Is it Bootlegger? What the heck store is that? Pretty sure it is. Anyhow, um, they had this pack of earrings on. Gracie loves studs. So this is actually not bad. It's only $14.90 regular price. Um, then it was 50% off, and then they gave me another 40% off the lowest lowest ticketed price like it was crazy I got these all for like two bucks love it uh, some more Scentsy uh, Grace loves cotton candy cookie so I actually bought this back in August and stashed it away because she's gone through pretty much our whole selection of cotton candy cookie I think she has one bar left and she thinks it's gone so she will be super pumped to get one of these as well as Flower Child. This is her favorite, like, floral perfumey scent. Usually she's more of a sugary, sweet candy girl, but oh, this one is beautiful. 
I know a lot of people like Lucky and Love, but if I had to choose between the two, this would be my number one. It's not available right now. I really hope they bring this back in the summer. Oh, because it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is on the light to medium side for performers, like for performance, but you can always put two, even three cubes in if you want it a tad stronger. It's so nice. Uh, a little Twix bar, which is Caramel Milk Chocolate Santa. Everyone, thanks to Ella, is getting Spongebob Kleenex in their stocking. Uh, Lush's Lip Scrub Sugar Plum Fairy. I got Tim the same one. That way they don't fight over it. Um, also, Grace uses hers. Tatum eats hers. Tatum is almost 18 years old, and she eats her lip scrub. Silly girl. Um, originally, I just purchased one of them, but I know they love that stuff so much. I'm like, no. If I get one, I have to get them both. And I am missing a couple things in this stocking. Um, now that I'm bedridden, I'm not going to get into London anytime soon, but I get all of Gracie's like face wash and her body products from a company called um, Pretty Natural. They're amazing. I will put their website link below um, if you're looking for all natural, amazing skincare products. They make their own as well as they carry other local organics, uh, holistics, body care line, um, they're phenomenal. I am so happy I found them because literally Grace's skin is so sensitive. I can't use anything else. And it is a bit of a pain in the butt because there's nothing convenient about having sensitive skin. When you run out of your face wash or your soap, you can't just run to Shopper's Drug Mart or to Walmart. You have to go to a specialty store. But they do have a website now and she does deliver. So or she will ship to anywhere basically. So that is convenient. Um, but my mom's gonna go and pick up her stuff this week so I can add it to the stocking. Cause unfortunately I'm not going anywhere. Deodorant, I got her socks and underwear too, but she would kill me if I put that on YouTube. And last but not least, I also purchased uh, gems or Lava Rock essential oils bracelet. This one was handmade by a local artisan. Um, these are gorgeous. I was originally, Grace has wanted one of these forever. And I got it in white and gray because I think it will match pretty much any outfit. These solid black beads are where the lava rocks are. And there's, my camera won't pick it up maybe. I can't get close enough to show you. But there's holes in the lava rock. And that's the beads that, and they're, um, they're porous, so they don't feel smooth like the finished stones do. This is where you put your essential oils. This is so amazing. Um, she kept showing me all these different companies online that make these, but I was hesitant to purchase them online because there's no guarantee that they're going to be authentic stones or the quality. So I was really happy when I found this local artisan who does these bracelets, she doesn't have a website at this time, but um, for anyone who's interested, you can private message me here on YouTube and I can give you her name. Um, I think she's called Distinctive Jewelry Designs and you can touch base with her. Um, she is local to London, Middlesex or Elgin County, but I'm sure she would ship to you and I can guarantee you her stuff is authentic. That's why I purchased it and so reasonably priced considering these are real stones. And then a lucky little elephant for Gracie. The kids, I think out of everything in their stocking, aside from the gift cards, I think they're going to be most pumped about these um, lava rock bracelets because essential oils are such a huge part of our daily life. Whether we're sick or we're hurt or just for our mood, I mean, essential oils can help with a lot of different things. Actually, my diffuser is over there just pumping away because I need essential oils in my life, especially when I'm feeling this down and out. Um, 
it's really easy to sink into feeling sorry for yourself or thinking, you know, why me? I'm too young to live the life of a 90-year-old woman. <laughs> um, so yeah, essential oils are uplifting and uh, really help get you out of those funks on days when you need it the most. <laughs> Anyhow, this is my Vlogmas entry for my 13-year-old stocking. Um, I hope it gave you some last minute ideas. If you have that awkward stage preteen, you probably don't need any help because they're still at that really fun, easy to please age kind of in between right before the chaos hits. But once again, thanks for tuning in for another Vlogmas entry. I look forward to bringing more videos daily. Might be from bed, but I'll be here. Bye for now.